rich, 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 rich. Will be visited by three plagues. Who's he kidding? Grammar can seem intimidating and scary when we don't understand it. But there is a purpose. We just need the courage. I'm going to break down optional commas in a few easy steps. We know that a comma indicates a break or a pause. But when is it optional to take this break? Optional means the commas are not required, but it's not wrong to include them. There are three ways a comma is optional. Number one, with short introductory phrases and clauses. One important rule to remember is, if you use commas after short introductory phrases and clauses, do so consistently throughout your work. An example where you could place a comma is in this sentence. By 2021, smartphone use was widespread. You could place the comma after 2021 or it wouldn't be needed at all. Let's move on to number two, where commas are optional around specific words. They are optional around words like perhaps, therefore, indeed, and of course, that come in the middle of a sentence when the sentence does not conjoin two independent clauses. In this sentence, the instructor saw our confusion and is therefore going to explain the problem again. The comma is not needed, but you could put it after therefore. The third way a comma is optional is before some coordinating conjunctions. This means when a coordinating conjunction joins short independent clauses, the comma is optional. An example with the comma would be, Melissa sings and Bethany plays the drums. The comma would go after scenes, or you do not need a comma at all. 